everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you clicked on this video because you want to see how much money I spent at the Sephora VIB room sale. It's a lot. Like a lot. And I don't know if you saw my video on my recommendations. If you didn't, I will leave it linked up here and in the description box because I didn't have really half of this stuff on my list and I ended up buying it. So we're just going to get on into it. I'm going to start with and group each item. We'll kind of work through it. I'll show you, show you some swatches. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. So if you like to see hauls and you like to see what I buy when I go shopping or how I do my makeup, then make sure to subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification because you want to get notified every time that I upload a video because they usually come twice a week. Yep, that's right, twice a week. Wednesdays and Sundays. At some point in that 24 hours, I upload a video. Fashion, lifestyle, makeup. Just make sure to subscribe down below before we get into this video. I'll wait here for a second. Okay, now that you've subscribed, we'll get into the video. So, I'm going to start with some hair care items that I bought. I was not clearly planning on buying hair care items, as you would have seen in my... Sephora VIB Rouge wish list items, but I did. So I ended up picking up the Way Hair Care Rose Hair and Body Oil. Um, I was watching Jamie Page's channel and she recommended this, and I just happened to be going to Sephora the next day again. <laughs> And I decided to pick it up. So I actually used it on my hair last night after I, uh, like I washed, had a shower and then I put it in. I did notice that it made my roots like really, really oily. So I'm thinking next time I'm going to focus it like lower my, my roots. It made my hair feel really nice afterwards. It was really handy. Jamie mentioned that she likes to put this like on her legs if she's going out and you know, you're wearing a skirt or shorts and you want your legs to look all nice and shiny. Um, so that's probably what I'll end up doing with this and kind of adding it to my hair. I heard rose oil is like really good for that kind of stuff, so I picked up that. And then the last hair care item was the Way Texturizing Hairspray. Um, so I've been using Dry Bars Hairspray. It's like a light hold and I really need something that's like like a heavy hold because I don't have that much volume in my hair and I wanted something that would like if I teased it or if I like poofed it up a little bit that it would stay so I figured I've heard good really good reviews on the way hair care texturizing hairspray so I picked that one up I used it it's good I mean I don't really know how to like judge a hairspray other than like does it hold your hair the way it's supposed to so I think it's I think it's really good I mean it smells nice, so we'll go with that. So next I'm going to move on to the skincare item that I bought. I only picked up one and it's the one that I recommend that I was going to buy in my like VIB the recommendations video. And it's the Le Leange Water Bank Eye Gel uh, for all skin types. I've used up my sample so I figured that I would pick it up. Um, I really like it. It's really nice. I've been using it every night. So I actually use this every time I wash my face. So if I take a shower, I'll come out, put it on my eyes along with my moisturizer. And then in the morning when I actually go to do my makeup, I'll put this on like as I brush my teeth or something. So it has time to sink in. And then when I get to do my makeup, it's already like, like sunk into my skin. So I really like this one. I thoroughly enjoy it. Next, we will go on to the face products. So I picked up a couple face items. Just a couple. So I decided to grab the Becca Cosmetics Black Backlight Priming Filter. Um, I really thought it, I, it was time for me to kind of switch up my primer. It I really liked this one because it gave more or less that like iridescent shimmery look. I'm actually wearing it under my foundation today. I don't know if you can really tell the difference. I am wearing a lot of the new products that I purchased. I did just did a new makeup like first impression video. You'll see that in a little while. Um, so I am wearing this today. I enjoy it. It's nice. Um, it does kind of like when you put it on, it makes your skin look a little bit like shimmery, but that's what it's supposed to do. Um, 
So I've heard really good things about it. I've tried it a couple times before I did my makeup today, like a couple days this past week, and I enjoy it. It's actually reacting a lot better with my foundation than the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer, which has been my like go-to for as long as I can remember. So um, we'll see how this works. I mean, the Too Faced one isn't like like shimmery. It doesn't have that like priming filter look to it. It's literally just a primer. So they, they do two totally different things. So we'll see. Um, and then next I picked up the Becca Under Eye Brightening Concealer. Um, brightening Corrector, sorry. And it's uh, just to like brighten up underneath my eyes. So I'm wearing it today. I'm just looking in the mirror and, it, and I can't tell the difference. Like it does make quite a big difference from uh, for underneath my eyes. It's not as like sunken in if that makes sense it kind of just gives that little bit of a brighter look to your underneath and if you want to put it on your eyelids it really takes away all that the extra color that you may have there so i enjoy this it comes in like a nice little little pot so it's easy to carry i left everything in their boxes for this video so i'm really looking forward to getting everything out of their boxes but and then next i got the seamless seamless Finish foundation stick from Hourglass and I got it in the shade porcelain which I am also wearing today and I love this foundation like the only other stick that I've used is the Makeup Forever stick um, and I, I like it a lot it just is an awkward color for me at the moment but this one matches perfectly like I could probably if I end up doing self tanning I could probably go a couple shades darker but right now this is perfect with a little bit of bronze and you're good to go I've like heard nothing but good reviews of this, so I figured that I would try it out. I mean, might as well. So yeah, that's in the shade porcelain. The next item is the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder, and I've already like used this before. Uh, it was a really long time ago, but I'm not really a fan of the Kat Von D um, loose setting powder, so I decided that I would go back to what I was used to. I found the Kat Von D one just made me look like really pale. Um, it said translucent, but it was just really white on my skin. And so I decided to go back to the translucent one. I did end up picking up some new setting spray. I finished up my Urban Decay, uh, like the setting spray. And it was actually like the old, old, old one that they used to have. Like it was still in the white packaging. So they had a set of two for $48. And so I just ended up getting it, and then my sister and I just split it. So it, so it was a lot cheaper for us. It was like $24 for a bottle, um, which is perfect. So I grabbed a box of those. Um, I ended up grabbing uh, two packages of the Invisibobble hair, hair ties. Um, so I got it in, I don't even know if there's like color, clear for sure. Um, and I don't know what this like color is, but it's like a really cool like iridescent pinky color. So... Um, I thought it's nice that you don't have to uh, like worry about getting the rings from your hair, like the lines in, in there from the elastic. So I grabbed that. Um, let's go on to lip. Actually, no, we're going to go on to eye products. So I ended up picking up a couple liners just from the Sephora brand. I wanted to kind of dive into the like colored eyeliner train that everyone is kind of getting on. So I picked up. Uh, four of them yeah three of them are the waterproof waterproof crown contour and I got in the shade summer cruise blonde ambition and purple stilettos so I'll swatch them on the back of my hand so you can see them um, and I thought they were really cool I like the idea that they were waterproof so you put them in your water line or or anywhere it's um, you know that it's not gonna come off because I find that happens quite a bit Hard, a little bit hard to see, but they're really pretty. And then I grabbed, I looked at the sales section at Sephora. Retractable eyeliner in the shade 16 Teal. Um, so it's really, it's like a little bit of a darker shade. Just over here on the end. It actually has this like smudger brush that comes with it on, like, on the end. So you can actually like smudge it out, um, which is cool. So I picked up those from Sephora. They're the Sephora brand, super cheap. I mean, for eye, eye, colorful eyeliners, you don't wanna buy super expensive ones. Uh, so the next stuff I bought are the Stila uh, 
glitter and glow one is in the shade rose gold retro i've been trying to debate i was like i've been debating on buying these and i just bit down so it looks like this one has a little bit of like a glitter base to it like there's glitter flecks in it and then this one is in the shade uh smoldering satin i really wanted i think there's one called like kitten something I really wanted that one and when I went to go check out it was gone so I'll just have to get another time but I think these are super pretty I think these would look amazing if you do like a black eyeliner and then you put one of these on top so that uh, smoldering satin is the one on top so it's a little bit more of like a brownie and then the one underneath is like a rose gold so super pretty shades I really like them next we are going to go on to the last items that I bought and these are from nude sticks so I did end up getting both sets that I mentioned in my video the nude matte lip and cheeks 3 intense matte shades uh, in pixie bell and purity it comes in this little tin that says nude sticks on it and it actually has a little mirror in the lid which I think is perfect comes with a little like instruction booklet telling you kind of like what they are I think it's really pretty it actually also does come with a sharpener which I don't have one and especially for chunky chunky ones like this you need a sharpener so I'm gonna open them up and we're gonna swatch them because I haven't even opened them yet so the first one is in the shade purity which is just right there super pretty I really like these the next one is in the shade pixie Oh, that's pretty. So it's just right next to it right there. That's Pixie. And the last one is Belle. So Belle is just here. It's more of like a pinky, pinky tinge to it. Um, so those are really pretty. And then the next one from Nude Sticks. And the last item, um, I did pick up a Gimme Brow, but that's for my mom. So we are going to go, this is the Nude Sticks Nude Artist box. Okay, so the next one has six different shades with it. Uh, comes in a nice tin. It does come with another sharpener and a mirror, which is perfect. So we are going to open these ones up. I've actually worn one of them um, in my... Uh, one of my recent or one of my videos that I filmed uh, doing a first impression on all the makeup that I bought so that will be coming up soon um, but I will swatch them all for you so you can see what they look like um, these are really nice like variety of shades first one is the shade mystic I will swatch these on the other side so this is actually a lip and cheek pencil so that's right there and that's the shade mystic it's like an actual crayon then we have the next crayon is also purity so it's the same uh, large one that we saw in the bottom so that purity is right next to it it's in a little bit of a fatter um, pencil to it then we have the shade Tay Tay which is right here so again it's it's like a nice nude color and then we have Retro. So Retro is here. It's a little bit of a darker brown, really nice nude. It's a really nice fall shade. And then we have Rose. It's like a nice mauve color. So it's right there. Nice mauve color. And the last one we have is Allie which is actually the one that I had worn earlier. So Allie is right there, right next to the blue. So as you can see, there are like really nice neutral shades and I think it would be perfect for someone who necessarily maybe doesn't want to wear a lot of makeup or maybe you just are looking for some like nice new nude shades that you want to wear, which is what I was doing. That is all that I bought, not all, that is everything that I bought at Sephora. And, um, quite a lot so I think I'm gonna be on a little bit of a makeup hiatus for a little bit 
because it's a lot of stuff and I really, what I am proud of myself is I didn't buy any eyeshadows. Now I did buy some ColourPop eyeshadows which you will be seeing in another video. I'm wearing them today but I didn't buy any eyeshadows from Sephora. I am now going to clean up everything that I have going on here. I hope you enjoyed my Sephora VIB sale haul of everything that I got. Don't forget to check out my recommendations. The sale ends on Monday, April 23rd, 2018. So make sure that you purchase everything you need on or before Monday because you don't want to miss it on that sale. The next one doesn't come until like November. And by that time it's winter so you're going to be getting winter products. So stock up, make sure you get everything. If you don't think you need it, buy it. And then if you don't want it, you can, you can always return it after. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my Sephora haul and let me know in the comments below what you guys got. Follow me on Instagram and comment what you got and tell me. I want to know because I may end up buying more but I most likely will not because my bank account will not like me. So I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!